Turn the stupid things off. What cave have you guys been living in? And we're the idiots? Relax, I'm just kidding. Well, duh. Why would you want to do something like that? Makes sense. Things are not equal. Hey, it could happen. Now, I can just imagine the geniuses of Silicon Valley. They're dreaming of the day, not too far away, when they'll get in the backseat of their car, sip their peppermint latte, and have the car drive them to wherever they want to go. Well, I've had the experience of driving and or being driven in some of the best self-driving cars available, and we're a long, long way from that objective. A year ago, I got a chance to be driven by the self-driving Mercedes-Benz E-Class. And just a couple of weeks ago in Switzerland, I had a chance to be self-driven in the S-Class, the pinnacle of automotive technology. Well, in the E-Class, it only tried to kill me twice in a day and a half. The S-Class, it only tried to kill me twice in an hour and a half. I'm not seeing this as progress. The fact remains, we still have to drive our cars. The technology is simply not there. It's not even close. In the E-Class situation, I was driving on a beautiful brand new three-lane highway. The lane markings were clear as could be. The sun was shining. I pushed the turn signal lever. It started to change lanes. It did fine until it got to the edge of the road and it kept on going. Just about drove me into the shoulder. If I hadn't grabbed the steering wheel, well, I wouldn't be here talking to you now. In the S-Class, it wasn't a whole lot better. It almost head on me into a truck. No, the answer to our traffic situation is more of the same. 25 years ago, we used to kill about 5,000 people a year on our roads in Canada. Now it's down to about 2,300. That's huge progress, still not enough. Anybody who's had lost a family member due to a traffic crash knows one is too many. But the reasons we have these crashes isn't because the cars can't drive themselves, it's because the people can't drive them. You've got to be sober and you've got to stop drink, taking drugs while you're driving because that's an increasing issue. You've got to wear your seatbelt, you've got to pay attention. These are the simple laws of traffic safety. They've been that way for 40, 50 years. They'll be that way in the future. Self-driving cars? No thanks. I'll take my chances. I'm Jim Kinsey.